Salway. The purpose of this video is to show you the places in ancient Italy that are relevant to the National Latin Exam. Over here is a list of all the places you need to know. We will start with Italy, otherwise known as Italia. Of course, we all recognize that it's shaped like a boot. And we will now zoom in to see the first item on the list. Okay, the first item is the Tiberis. That is the name of the river on which Rome is located. Notice there are a couple of major rivers here. There's one going across this way. The Tiberis, you will notice, however, it looks like it's pointing downwards. So there it is. We're going to zoom in. We will color it blue. There it is. The Tiberis, the Tiber River. Ostia, so we can cross that off our list. The next item on our list is Ostia, which is the name of the port at the mouth of the Tiber River. Again, Ostia is the mouth of the Tiber. Rome, of course, is the city located right on the Tiber. Okay, now we're going to move a little bit further south and find Pompeii. Notice that Pompeii is located between what looks like two jagged teeth on the edge of Italy. We will zoom in even a little bit more. There are these two pointy teeth here and a little straight line between the pointy teeth. Pompeii is located right there in the corner between the pointy teeth. And right next to Pompeii is the next item on our list, which of course is Mount Vesuvius. We will zoom out again so you can see where that is. Again, when you're looking for Pompeii, you can start at the little toe of Italy and move your way up and look for two teeth. There's one tooth pointing out and another one. And Pompeii is located right in that corner there. So we've got Pompeii with Mount Vesuvius right next to it. The next item on the list is the Apennines. Those are the mountains that run down Italy. Sometimes they are known as the spine of Italy. And that's because, look, it goes all the way down the middle. The Apennine Mountains there. The next item is Brundisium. You will find Brundisium over here in the boot. I'm sorry, yeah, that's the boot of Italy. And the reason we care about that is because if you are in Italy and you want to get over to, oopsies, let's fix that. If you want to get over to Greece, which is located like over here-ish, you have a couple choices. You can go to Brundisium and take a boat or you can walk all the way up the boot and all the way back this way and over there. So Brundisium was important because it was a shortcut to the rest of the interesting part of the world. The next item on our list is Mare Nostrum, which literally means our ocean, our sea. And that's what the Romans called this body of water here, which of course is the Mediterranean Sea. They liked it so much and they thought they owned it, so they actually named it Our Sea, which of course would be a problem for anybody else who happened to live there. So Mare Nostrum is the ancient name that the Romans used for the Mediterranean. Now, the reason other people might not like it, being not Roman, is they might have thought it was theirs too. Thus, the people in Africa, namely the Carthaginians, got into a massive fight with the Romans because of who was going to control the Mediterranean. And they fought especially over the last item on the list right here, which is Sicilia, otherwise known as Sicily. If you're fighting over control of this body of water, Sicily is a very strategic point. Notice it looks like the Romans, like Italy is kicking Sicily. And Sicilia eventually was controlled by the Romans and became the first province of the Roman Empire. So apparently, by controlling Sicily, the Romans did indeed have control of Mare Nostrum, at least for the time being. So that is the end of introducing the basic geographical features of ancient Italy that are important for the National Latin Exam.